Right, here we have a nice A-class just arrived. It's a Bursner Vanio I8. So it's 684. And this is a really clean example for the year. 07 plate. I think it's about 45,000 miles. And let's have a look around on this rare sunny day. It was absolutely torrential earlier, but there we go. So let's have a look around. That is instantly uh, your waist usual things, your hook up, your water, a bit crushed at this side so let's move back because there we go that's better and I like the front end here but as usual every once in a while what it's like inside it does look a nice thing you got gas lockers what is this here Ah, your toolkit, etc. Is this open? Let's have a look. That's where gas lockers go. Your gas bottles even. Easy storage for two. And hopefully this is open as well. Yep, yeah, we have a large storage there. I think this is some sort of... Let's pull that out. A large storage locker with your tyre down there. And some more mats. Ah, I think this is just a front cab line, but we'll, we'll throw that in there. It's not needed because I'll show you when we go inside in a minute. Do, 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 do we have electric step, I do believe. There we go. Let's go inside. And here we go. So let's go straight to the front. So what I meant was we don't need that um, blind because we have the blinds here that pull out. All the way around, and they go right the way around there. And up front, you've got your six speed gearbox, no door on this side, but obviously, you've got a door on this side as people are well away with the air classes. But you do have this nice storage area there for the driver, cup holders, large and small. Let's just sit down here a minute and look backwards. So you've got your four travelling seats. We've got the French bed, double bed at the back. I do believe this converts into a bed. And above us here. So I'll show you that in a second. So we've got a large skylight up there. Loads of storage all the way around. And your bathroom and your bedroom at the back there. And you can actually separate them, if you can see there, with the, the curtain. But let's have a look up here. So... We've got a really large, nice double bed there, which is really popular at the moment, as I said before. And in here we've got the shower area. Hello. Nice and bright with a nice skylight and shower there. Obviously the shower curtains come together. Look at the size of that floor there. Excellent using. Let's have a look here. Do that. Do that. I believe that goes here. Ah, yeah, so you've got an actual. This actually. Oh, let's have a look. Pull this back, sorry. So that comes out, and this one comes out. So you've actually got. You can separate the shower completely from the toilet and this area here. So you've got your literally. In between there, you've got your own little shower room. So it turns into three separate little rooms, you could say. The lighting, let's look in here as we always do. Anything of interest in the cupboards? I said bags of storage all around. Anything in here? Nope. Wind up skylight up there. And you have your large fridge freezer. And oh, sorry, undo the safety mechanism. Don't bang around. So up here, you have to move these seats on actually, you have to lower the seats, but they're on a quick release, so you just twist these and they fold straight back, so no mess around, and then obviously you've got your seat belt buckle to drop it. Pull that down and 
up here. You got your ladder up there and you uh, a very large double bed. So push that back up, one handed. Let's have a look. I'll do that in a sec. There we go, yeah, that's up there. So it goes right down here and obviously you got your ladders, but you'll be able to see the pictures on the website. So this actually drops down and this slides out. So you got your double bed there, two there, two there and two there. So loads of accommodation. Let's look in here. A wardrobe, nice size. Ah, what is that there? I think that might be to do with the bed there. I could be wrong, but like I say, just first impressions. Nice three burner hob. You've got a drainage sink. And your, your sink there. What do we have here? A spirit level. Excellent news. And your cutlery drawer. In here you've got a large cupboard which goes way back. Complimentary bin. <laughs> Not found anything in here yet. I think it's literally had everything taken out. What's this down here? A little secret drawer. And under got access to the garage and more storage. What do we have? Lighting under there. So let's go right back here and just get a view from the front. So, yeah. Nice. And I like this large window here. So, plenty of light coming through everywhere. Mm, what else do we have? Let's check these cupboards. All empty. Fire extinguisher. Nice. Safety first. And, ah, that's what we're looking for. Stacks of history like that. Right, anything else? Good size, I don't know how wide it is, but eight foot, you could say. You can correct me on that one. Do do some speakers under there. Your TV will go over there. And as usual, you got your. So you me over here with your Truma heating and your various switching gauges. Coat hooks. And I do believe... Somebody asked me earlier, so what's this? I said, it's a shoehorn. And they went, no way, why would it be a shoehorn in a motorhome? I'm saying it's a shoehorn, but you can correct me on that one. <laughs> there we go. Yep, lovely. And over here we've got a really large skylight, which... Winds up there, and there we have it. There she is, nice and fresh and very clean actually. So yeah, more pictures of this Bursner and details, if it's still for sale, when you look at openroadcars.co.uk. So cheers for watching.